Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how can you toggle on and off commands using a database. So let's create a model. I'm just going to name this command.js. Commands on command.js. Okay, so here we're going to require mongoose first. Mongoose. Then we're going to make the schema. will be a string and commands will be array so we're going to store the commands in array and then we're going to export it exports module that exports equals mongoose the model commands and then schema schema okay so this is the model that we're going to use next is um, we're going to do okay so the thing is i already deleted all my previous um tutorial commands um let me just make one folder called um, commands um what should i call this utilities utils let me just call this utils the first one is going to be named command command enable.js and then the other one is going to be command disable js okay let's do the disable one first so module.exports but first we need to require the schema so call schema just require and then go to your models file and then you go to this uh, oops command so you basically want to go back to this f file over here and require this file after you do that you can start doing the exports name will be command disable run async client message and art okay so the first one you're going to check permissions where the, the person has permissions uh, administrator permissions you can change this to any permissions you want i'm just going to make it administrator that's permission administrator to message the channel send you need administrator permissions to use this command okay then next um we're going to define command so cons command equals art zero if there is no command return message that channel that send um please specify a command and then we're going to check whether it's a valid command so if um two exclamation marks client the commands dot get command is equals to false um return message dot channel dot send return message dot channel dot send um this command does not exist all right next we can find in the schema so schema dot find one guilt will be message of guilt the id and async error data if error throw error if data um all right okay so if there's data and then we're gonna check if the data is uh, if, the, if there's already data saved to the database so data the commands that includes command it is a uh, return message that channel will send um, this command has already been disabled 
disabled and then we're gonna push command if there is nothing so data dot commands dot push command all right so we're gonna use an else here if there is data if there isn't any data so data equals to new skill um guilt message the field the id and then the commands will be command and then ask after this else um, and then you know, escape it and then go away data to save um message dot channel dot send um this com command uh, wait, wait, um, command has been disabled. You can change this to anything you want. I'm just gonna do it like this. You can do it with embeds if you want. So this is basically the um, the disable command. So next we're gonna do the enable command. So let me just open this real quick and then we can just copy um, from here, just paste it over here, change this to enable and then um, until here schema.find1 okay then we can just delete all of these Okay, just did it here. Should look something like this. Alright. So first we can throw error. If there's error, throw error. If data. If there is data. And then if data dot commands dot includes command. If, if um it's really been backlisted. Turned off I mean that command number let me just do this just do this uh, what am I doing number okay that command number and then we're gonna use a for loop now so for let i equals zero and then i will be less than data dot comments dot length and then i plus plus I plus plus um all right and then here if data dot commands uh array and i then equals to command equals to command and then data dot commands dot splice I one. So this is a very basic um very basic for loop usage and then await data to save and then message the channel send um enable command so enable command then if there is no data so just click on here and then you should see a bracket something like this and then else return message channel send I'm, I typed it wrongly dot send um, this that command is that command isn't turned off all right so this should be it for the enable so meanwhile I'm just gonna connect to MongoDB if you if you don't know what's this you can just watch I'm just gonna link it down in the description I've made a tutorial on how to use how to connect to this I'm just gonna connect to record database which is my database um, all right so Next, we're gonna go to the message event. So find for message events. 
Alright, I'm already using a event handler. If you haven't used an event handler, I highly suggest you to use one. Um, if you don't have one and if you don't want to use one, it's totally fine. Just go to index.js and then f just find for this um, message event. So it should look something like this if different. All you need is just this line over here. Alright. Okay, so let's just wait for this to connect. I'm just gonna delete this because I did a testing earlier. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so you see if command, just gonna cut this. All right, put it here. Okay, then over here we're gonna first we're gonna require the model. So we're gonna do const schema schema. Uh, const, let me just do const db equals require and then go to your models folder which is models and then um, prefix uh, commands all right then if command so if you there's command then const check equals await db find one guilt message dot guilt id Okay, then if check, and then we're gonna do an else here, and then here we're gonna put command or run. Okay, so now in here, if there's data, um, you're gonna do if check the commands that includes. Um, Command dot name return message dot channel dot send this command has been disabled by admins. Okay. And then we can run it. Um and then you can just put command run over here. Okay, so let's try this out. First, we're gonna save it, and then we're gonna not note dot. Okay, let's just go to this. Um, let's push everything up. All right. So this is the database I have here. Okay, so I don't really have a lot of commands, I only have ping.js, so I'm just going to demonstrate with ping.js. So, as you can see, it works now. Oh, my ping. Okay, so we're going to blacklist the command. So, my um, command disable. And then, if I type a random thing, and then you just say, um, has permission of undefined message dot member is a typo, so it's message dot member not message dot members. Let me just let me just do this again. My bad. All right. So why? Okay. So this is a random command. It should say there isn't a such. This command doesn't exist. So it's. Per Works perfectly. So now let's change this to ping because we're going to disable ping. Disable ping. Command ping has been disabled. So when you go to database, you should see it. Um, just refresh it. And let it to load for a second. Okay, so this is my other thing. So just ignore this. So it's commands. So as you can see here, it should say ping, commands ping, all right? So when I run y ping, the command has been disabled by admins, all right? To enable this command, we're simply just gonna do y, enable, wait, what's the command again? Command enable, command enable, and then ping, enable ping, and then we refresh. The ping will be gone, and then when you run right ping, it should send the message. Yeah, 
So let me just show you again. So why disable ping and then command ping has been disabled. So why ping it shouldn't work. So yeah, this is about it for today's video. If you have any errors or any suggestions, feel free to join the support server. Um, we host daily votes on which commands that you guys want. So yeah, if you like the video, feel free to leave a subscribe. And yeah, see you again on the next video. Bye.